you guys what's going on it's me rex and cj back at it again making another youtube video for you guys i'm trying to put myself in a rhythm where i make <sighs> that jump like this is probably like the seventh time that i've made this intro i got really tired <gasps> i'm back at it again making another youtube video for you guys i tried to put myself in a rhythm where i am trying to make one video dropping every single Monday. I haven't made myself like a set time yet, but I think I'm gonna do Monday at 8 p.m. I'm trying to film every Thursday and then editing that from Friday through Sunday. I did make a poll on Instagram and I did it twice because I didn't have that many questions. And the second time I did it, I had a lot of questions actually. And now I have about 45. I did take out some of the repeated ones. So that helps us out a little bit and I'll do my very best to answer the questions straight on. I did not prepare for this. Maybe I should have, but I didn't, but. <laughs> so you can go ahead and go with the first one. Question number one, <laughs> does CJ treat you well? <laughs> I can't. All right, question number two. One of your fans from Athens oh, yeah. wants to meet you, but how? Yeah, I don't know, the only way that we can either meet is either you come to San Diego because there's no way I can fly out there because I'm only 20 years old and I don't have enough money to fly over there or I become this really famous rally driver and I just happen to be out there so that's the only way we could possibly meet. Can you please come to Athens and bring me a present with you? It would be a lot of money to ship my car over there unless I live there. Question number three, I know you're in love with ghosts. Question number four, what was your first car? My first car was a yellow 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer OZ Rally Racing Edition. I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen. Yeah, it was really embarrassing. I had it in high school. It was yellow. I thought it was badass. I put a Mitsubishi Lancer banner. <laughs> I know. I put a Mitsubishi Lancer banner on it. I just thought it was so cool. It was terrible. The fifth question is, got any second cars in mind for the near future, or are you going to just stick with the Hawkeye? I definitely do want a second car. I was planning on getting a BRZ because it's cheaper, it's more affordable, and it's a cool looking sports car. I know everybody has it, but that's probably the most affordable one I could possibly get. Or I don't, I don't want to get a Prius or some kind of Toyota Corolla or whatever because I can't ever see myself rolling in something like that. Question number six, where do you see yourself in three years? Okay, realistically, three years from now, I'd be going to a different school, so I want to go to a university in San Diego. With the whole rally thing, saving money right now to go to rally school, and I'm hoping to save up about a couple thousand dollars, hopefully if I can next year or two years from now. Question number seven, what's your opinion? I wanted to buy a car to build the Skyline R32 or 35. I would just go with building the R32. Question number eight, <laughs> keep it up CJ, you're on a roll. Um, thank you. I'm like blushing right now because of that reason. Whatever. Okay, question number nine. How did you get involved in the car community? That's a long one. The quick recap. Bought the SUV and I was like, I'm gonna go out to a car meet. And then I made a car account. And I think my original name was like Ollie WRX underscore seven or something like that, something weird. And I started posting every day. Then I started scheduling myself for photo shoots. And then I started to go out to more meets and and then I worked at a detailing place. So that's how I got more involved and people got to know me and then I got to interact with other people. All right, so question number 10 is why don't you post or talk about your military side? Oh yeah, that's another one I did. I don't talk about my military side because, wait a second, then I gotta reprocess that question. Well, one, it'd break up my feed and I know it's really stupid to say, but I'm, it's gonna break up my feed with what I have and the trend that I have going on. So that's why I don't post about it unless it's on my story. What was the other one? Uh, why don't you I don't talk about it because some people who reach out to me are active duty or prior service. I have Marines like approach me and then I tell them about it and then they decide to give me crap for it. So that's why I don't say anything anymore and I just think of it like insignificant, I guess you could say, because I just get shit on for it all the time. So that's why I never talk about it. Nor that's why I don't post about it because I know somebody is going to be saying something and I'm just tired of hearing it. Even though I have my own opinions, I just, I'm tired of hearing theirs, so that's why I never talk about it. Question number 11, what's the next mod you're going to do for the WRX? So the next mod I'll be doing for the WRX is going stage two. I have the downpipe sitting in my garage, I have a boost controller, and then I have three more parts I need to get, which is the equal length header, the external wastegate, and the flex fuel kit so I can go 85. I want to install it all at once because if I do the boost controller and my downpipe now, it's gonna screw up the entire car and it's gonna just get more expensive because I also need to get it tuned for that. 
and I don't want to have to go back and forth, so. Question number 12. What or who got you into the car world? Okay, I think I answered the what part. Who got me into the car community? My ex from high school. Um, I dated him when I was a freshman. He was the one that got me into Subarus. And way before that, when I was in middle school, I saw a picture of a 2006 WRC on my friend's page. And I was like, what kind of car is that? I, did, I had no idea what it was. He told me it was an STI. And I was like, dude, that's super sick. So I saved it. And then when I met him, he was asking, are you into cars? And I was like, yeah, I don't really know what this one is, but I really like it. So that's what I sent to him. He was like, oh my God. He's like, you love Subarus? And I was like, I was like, yeah, I didn't, I wasn't sure what it was, it was at the time because I wanted to learn about cars and I was scared to say something about it. And then he went on of teaching me. Question number 13. If you could get a different car, what would it be and why? Oh, that's my neck. Okay, if Subaru wasn't in the picture, I was actually aiming to get an S2000 and I wanted it to be stick shift, of course. I would be my other choice. All right, number 14 is, what's your favorite part about owning an STI? It's not an STI, it's a WRX. <laughs> That's why I have my name as Rex and CJ. It's people still tell me that, oh, like I love your STI or like is that an STI? And I'm like, well, no, because YouTube name is WRX and CJ and then my Instagram name, of course, is WRX and CJ. I went on a rant. My favorite part about a WRX, probably that it's all wheel drive and I feel a lot safer. I guess you could say when it's like raining or if I'm up in the mountains or when I bring to the snow or dirt, something like that, I feel a lot safer in my car. It's also voted as the top three safest cars. So that's probably my favorite. I also forgot to mention that I do love the rumble with Subarus. Question number 15 is what made you choose a Subi? And did you ever think about buying an Evo? No, <laughs> I'm not sure why I didn't think about an Evo, but I thought about it as a second car though. Number 16 is would you consider yourself a car enthusiast? Is that even, is that even a question? I know it's a question on there, but do I consider myself a car enthusiast? No. The biggest question of all. Number 17 is what is your dream car? A 2007 Subaru STI. That's literally what it is. I'm one year down and one model down too. Question number 18, what's the fastest you've driven? Fastest I've driven is 130. <laughs> question number 19, what's your major in college? I wanna be a marine biologist who studies the anatomy of sharks and their behavior, which means I get to travel and I want to help restore coral reefs. 20 is, what's the first car you learned in? Oh, that's a good one. Okay, the first car I learned in was an old beaten 240SX. It was a stage two and the e-brake was broken and the interior was like parted out. There was wires everywhere and it was lowered and it was, it sounded like. And then I was pushed onto the street cause there was a car behind me. And then it just all came to nature, I guess. Even though I stalled out like probably three times on the road. Question number 21. <laughs> okay, question number 22. Are you doing rally? I am doing rally and that's really hard to say because it's super expensive and sounds unrealistic, but something that I really want to do and experience. I noticed how a lot of women were in rally and I never really hear any female names in rally. So that's why I chose to go that route. I do like rally and I hope to get there someday and go to school in the next year or two. All right guys, that was it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. It always means a lot to me. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And if you haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's Rex and CJ. It's the same name as my YouTube channel. I will go ahead and also link it in the description below. If you haven't seen the carbon exhaust video, and below as well. Or the next video to look out for, that will be the Subi vlog where I'll be going over everything, including the stage two parts, what I need, what I'm doing, what was going on. For the third video, I will be doing a life update or a day in the life kind of thing. I do want to do a day in the life video. That would be pretty cool and it's kind of like aesthetically pleasing especially if you're a girl that's watching this if you ever seen a day in the life video from other like female youtubers mm -mm. but i do want to also tell you guys what i do in my life because there's a lot that goes on i make an excuse saying that i'm busy which is actually true i'm, I'm very busy i do a lot of things i never give myself like time to relax and unwind and that's always really important but at the same time i really want to commit back to youtube because 
I want to grow, I have to work really hard and I'm growing on Instagram. I just need to grow my YouTube channel, which means that it's a lot of work. I have to plan a day to record. I have to plan a day to drop a video for you guys. As long as I keep dropping videos every single Monday, one day it will be my time. I want you guys to be a second family and every subscriber that I have right now, which I think is about 260, you guys will always be the real ones from the start and I will always remember you guys. After that one, it will be the Q&A number two. So if you guys have any more questions, like I said, you can DM me on Instagram or you can leave a comment in any of my other videos. I will check them out and I will add them. Anyways, I just keep getting interrupted. Wondering why I'm sitting on the floor right now. It's because my first outro that I made was actually out of focus. All right, guys, that was it. I will end it right here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm already screwing up and it's the beginning of the video and this is probably like my seventh video already and I shouldn't be screwing up that much but <laughs> anything outside of YouTube my car anything literally anything so uh, okay fine right, it's just the camera and I'm talking to probably like 50 people so all right guys <laughs> I can't do it. I did it. No, I can't do it. 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 You know how to roll. You know what? Hey, man, I'm Brian. Oh, wow. You want to go to lunch sometime? You going to take it there right after the big protest? Hey, man, we got to stop these squirrels. Anyways, I just keep getting interrupted. Hey guys, what's up? I'm back at it again. That was probably the most cheesiest intro I've ever done. <laughs> okay, I can't do it. No. What's going on guys? It's me. I don't know why I still have my shoes on. Okay, so I have to stop this video because CJ's here.